Okay, there he is, all finished. It's not too bad, there's a little bit missing off of the uh, centre there. As you can see that there's a little spout on there, but the little spout didn't turn out there. But all in all, he's got another ear, so technically speaking, he's now sellable. And all we done was create a simple little mould, as you can see, let me just turn him around. I have sprayed him silver now to match the other one. With regards to getting it handed, all I basically did was, I just heated that joint up there and just bent it the other way, because this one actually went the same way as uh, the pattern one, so there you go. A simple fix, to be honest with you. Let's just hold him back down and let you have a look at him now. I think we'll probably end up keeping him, to be honest with you. So he looks all right. He does work. He's got a remote control, as I said. Uh, this comes out the gun, and also that little sucker thing shoot backwards and forwards. He talks and goes around in circles. And since we've got two grandchildren now, I think we might as well keep it. Yeah, they actually like tormenting the uh, dogs with it. Barney over there who's obviously looking for the squirrel out the window as you can see it's a very frosty day out there at the moment Barney likes uh, looking for the squirrel but this thing he's actually petrified of so if I just show you this was the mold which I made there's the both halves there obviously I did get a little nick out of that and that nick there was obviously matched up with that cut mark which I did there so although it looks like it's a nick there in the actual casting it comes out as a little lump so all I done was just file that down afterwards and I say that's where I put that channel if you remember in there for pouring so all I basically done after I separated it I put a piece of hardboard or card on that side and that side and I basically bound it together tight with uh, a few elastic bands and that held it obviously in that position there and held it upright like that and then that's where you pour the actual solution in and there's the little, I don't know if you can see that, that was a little air hole I'd created so obviously when you pour in there the uh, liquid plastic just rose up until you see it come out of there and obviously there as so well, you've got to pour it very slowly because obviously it's a very fine stream, some of the details on that uh, are quite fine to say but I didn't actually manage to cast that little spout there as you can see it's missing on that one there so I could have either cut that one off to make them look both the same or I could actually have just moulded a little piece of stick in there which I probably could end up doing anyway so so that was the casting and that's what we poured and this stuff which I told you about sets in about 10 minutes uh, it changes from a clear liquid to a milky white and then once you obviously prise the mould apart you just trim off the you obviously take the piece out and then just trim the pieces off there trim it off at the bottom there and I just heated that joint up as I said on the plastic and just bent it the other way and that gave us the uh, handed side of the actual aerial piece so yeah that was it so that's just a little project it's handy if you've got uh, old equipment that you can't buy the plastic parts for anymore having uh, this sort of material where you can make a mould and obviously cast a plastic piece can be an invaluable thing because obviously you can spray these bits any colour this was actually white as I said to you when I finished doing it but I sprayed it just silver to match this so these do go from side to side and oscillate so yeah there you go that is how to create a silicon mould and replicate a plastic part which was obviously missing Thanks very much and I hope you enjoyed it.